Hey Star Warriors, Stargeek here. Lots of Star Wars development has happened in the past week or so, from Rebels and The Force Awakens to fan films and Saturday Night Live. In Star Wars news this week, Disney has come out with a list of their eight final choices of actors for the 2018 Han Solo anthology film. The choices of stars to follow in the footsteps of Harrison Ford include Logan Lerman, Emery Cohen, Scott Eastwood, Dave Franco, Ansel Elgort, Miles Teller, Jack Renner, or Blake Jenner. To the surprise of Star Wars fans, voice actor and impressionist Anthony and Gruber, who caught his first film role in The Age of Adeline playing a young Harrison Ford, wasn't included on the shortlist. This has sparked some outrage from fans, even spawning a petition. Anthony and Gruber is perfect for the role, looking and sounding almost identical to Ford. Trust me everyone, if you want this Han Solo movie to be good, sign this petition. Anthony and Gruber is our only hope. In other Han Solo news, Harrison Ford recently became the highest grossing actor in US box office history, passing the former record holder, Morgan Freeman. Thanks to the box office success of The Force Awakens, becoming the number one film of all time in the United States on January 6th, his films collectively helped him achieve this honor. The Force Awakens also recently hit $1 billion worldwide. Speaking of Episode 7, the film is suspected to be released to DVD and Blu-ray by April 20th, 2015. Contrary to popular belief, it will not be an extended cut of the movie, but it will include a wide array of deleted scenes. John Boyega spoke to Vogue magazine about the next installment in the Star Wars saga, claiming that his role in future films will be much more physical. Mirroring The Empire Strikes Back, Ryan Johnson's Episode 8 will be a darker film than The Force Awakens. One really cool video that was recently leaked online was a 10 minute VFX breakdown of The Force Awakens. I won't include any footage here since Disney is trying to take down any evidence of this video's existence, but if you ever get the chance to check it out, it's definitely worth it. Speaking of visual effects, Star Wars Episode 7 has been nominated in 5 Oscar categories. After declining the chance to be included in the Golden Globes to avoid releasing spoilers, the film is getting the attention it deserves at the Oscars. Nominated for Best Visual Effects, Best Original Score, Best Film Editing, Best Sound Mixing, and Best Sound Editing. Adam Driver, the actor behind Kylo Ren, recently hosted the first episode of SNL for 2016. He starred in a hilarious sketch parodying Undercover Boss, seeing Kylo Ren going undercover among the troopers of Starkiller Base. Poe Dameron is rumored to be getting his own spin-off comic book series similar to the upcoming one-off 3PO comic, explaining his origins before The Force Awakens. Disney announced that Princess Leia would be joining Rebel Season 2, shortly before releasing an amazing mid-season trailer. There are many easter eggs and additions to the series that intrigue keen-eyed viewers. Ahsoka starts by saying, There is always a bit of truth in Legends, immediately followed by images of expanded universe material. Hammerhead vehicles from Knights of the Old Republic, and Kinrath bees from Ralph McQuarrie's concept art. Also from his concept art is a Force Temple. There are appearances of Mandalorians, Lasots, Twi'leks, Jedi Temple Guards, New Inquisitors, Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader, Yoda, and even Darth Maul. It hints at Ezra's pull to the dark side and features a stable green crossblade lightsaber, tying the sequel trilogy to the rest of the Star Wars timeline. We also get a glimpse at what is most likely the first and final confrontation between Vader and Ahsoka. And to wrap this up, a brand new fan film, Rebel Scum, was recently released after over a year in the making. Blood Brothers Cinema Company trekked out on location to actually film in the freezing cold, taking two months to finish filming. They also integrated really nice stop motion animation into the short film, really showing their dedication. It's a must see. Links to every video that I mentioned in this episode are in the description below. So that's all of the latest news in the Star Wars universe. I hope you learned something new. If you like this type of episode, make sure to leave a like to show that you'd like to see more. Subscribe to Stargeek for weekly Star Wars content. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by clicking the links in the description, and you can check out my latest video, The Top 10 Saddest Moments, if you just click on the thumbnail. You can also watch my 80stees.com mystery unboxing. Until we meet again in a galaxy far, far away, this has been Stargeek. Hello, I am C-3PO, Human Cyborg Relations. Thank you so very much for sticking around past the credits. It means an awful lot. In case you saw my mystery unboxing video a while back and were wondering how the protocol drive mask is coming along, well, as you can see, marvelously. Well, it's been a bit slow, but lately I've been picking up the pace and the progress has been, well, progressing.
Thank you so very much for sticking around. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, please inform your counterparts of the channel Star Geek. I'm sure they'd love it. There is much more content coming to your galaxy very soon, so please stick around, and may the Force be with you.